So a little while ago, I made a video going over the drop rate of base attack and roughly trying to approximate exactly how much reforge ore it would require to roll a base attack on both 40 and 100 reforge ore cost weapons. So my full data for all that was in here. I determined that on average it would cost 656 reforge ore to roll a base attack on a 40 roll weapon and 1640 reforge ore to roll a base attack on a 100 reforge ore weapon. The issue with this data of course, is that the rarities of those base attacks are omitted from this testing. So what I did is I went back over all my data and manually input the rarities and figured out the exact drop rates of each of these rarities. This is potentially slightly flawed, and I'll disclaimer this right now in that it's very hard to tell whether base attack, for example, has the same drop rates of these as, say, a like a, a health reduction, a total health, a troop health, stuff like that. I think as far as estimations get, this is the best we're going to get. So I basically made a chart here, which uses the exact same formula that I used to find the drop rate here, and then the expected costs down here, except it also takes into account the drop rate percentages of the rarities of the rerolls as well. This is another thing which is slightly subject to change because these tierings, particularly for, well, for, for base attacks specifically, do change depending on the weapon. So, for example, say a rob weapon, the highest base attack you can roll on a rob weapon is 10, but for Layla, it will be 11, but then for, say, John, you'll be able to actually roll a 12. So the tierings of these will actually change depending on what red weapon it is. And I believe this is what causes the lower drop rate for blue. So we check back in game to find an example of this. The blue tiering of base attacks are often capped at just one number actually. So here for example, with this base attack, this is at 6 and it's a purple. Then a 5 for example is blue. And then the 4 that you can see here is green. So only 5 on these 100 BD store weapons actually shows as blue, whereas I believe 6 and 7 maybe as well, but I'm pretty sure 8, 9 gold, and then 10, 11 are red, something in that range. But the overall takeaway at this point is there will be less of a drop pool for blue base attacks, and because of that, the drop rate of them seems to naturally just be a bit lower than what you'd expect when you actually do the data tracking of it. Because of this same concept as well, as you go up in the tiers of weapons, the general trend is that the more expensive the weapon, the higher your floor with base attacks will be. So for example, on John weapon, uh, you can actually roll into a 5 base attack and it will be green. Whereas the highest green for, say, a rob weapon will only be a free. So you'll have access to higher base attacks in this lowest tier of expected all costs. And that is one benefit to these more expensive weapons, which isn't necessarily listed on this chart. I think that is pretty much all the disclaimers necessary. The only other one would be that, of course, this is averages and luck can skew this very far in either direction. So you can get very lucky and roll a red base attack in like two rolls and by the nature of averages that will cause someone else to then require tons more reforge or to roll a base attack of that quality in the same spot so your own experience might not mimic these numbers too closely but mathematically there is a huge data sample here this is what you can expect as approximate all costs for each of these rarities of base attacks to roll. As a general trend, it seems to be that blue and purple base attacks are about two times harder than green base attacks to roll, gold base attacks about four times harder, and red base attacks about nine times harder to roll. So theoretically, for every nine green base attacks you get on a weapon, you should get a red base attack. 
or at least in that amount of ore, you should hope to. You can really see how extortionate the ore costs get as you block a total attack weapon down here at the bottom. Getting a very good base attack for one of them is insanely expensive, but of course it may feel necessary to you if you are trying to only get one unit type and you're running mono, but you're trying to roll onto a total attack weapon, say like Daenerys or Cersei. And I do think this sheet or chart really does put into perspective exactly how much reforge or you're going to require to get good base tax. I know some people think they're very unlucky because they've put in, say, 10,000 reforge or into like a Layla weapon and they haven't got anything that good. Well, as you can see, that's pretty much to be expected realistically. That's just how the system works. It is a black hole and you're just going to have to keep dumping in reforge or over and over and over and over again and just pray for good luck if you, you're really trying to get something top, top tier onto your weapons. If you want to steal this chart, then feel free. I should probably move my mouse as I say that, so it's easier to screenshot. I would hope long term they add some more easily accessible reforge or into the game to help players bridge these gaps of how much reforge or is actually required to get really good stuff onto their weapons. I do think a self-discounting pack with Reforge Ore in it would be very well placed at this point in the game, honestly. I hope the upcoming UC Winners pack can maybe be a first introduction of that, potentially. I doubt it somehow, but that, that is my hope, personally. Because if you're naturally trying to buy up 34,000 Reforge Ore, it's good. It, one costs so much, but two also just take so long, and even then you could just get unlucky and not get anything good anyway. It's absolutely brutal. But at least we can bemoan our luck a little bit less when it's visualized so plainly and based on actual evidence rather than just uh, anecdotal snippets and things we've heard from other people. So that's pretty much it. I mean, there's a lot of talking there, but the overall takeaway is just this chart. You can read them. From it, what you need, there's less than a 5% drop rate of red stats when you're re-rolling weapons, and just a 10% drop rate on gold, so it leaves 85% of rolls still remaining on weapons. If you're trying to churn through it to get base attacks that you really want to keep, that you sort of just have to sift through to get to the really good stuff at the end. And I have a feeling a lot of us are going to be grinding on our weapons for a very very long time to get stuff we really want on them and to bypass all these luck mechanics. Yeah.